Greetings and salutations everybody. I want to talk to you about Don Hume holsters and revolver reload methods. So I got a question for you guys. What do you think is the fastest way to reload your revolver? You guys are empty and clear with a safe snap, Zeta 6 safe snap in there for dry fire. Okay, so I go, boom, I'm going to DG you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, click on the seventh. What's the fastest way to reload? That's right, the New York Reload. The New York Reload. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Jim Cirillo style New York Reload. Now, only one of these holsters is broken in now. I haven't even done an unboxing with this beauty yet. So look forward to that. I like this one so much. This one's going to get a little work over job and maybe a night sight, excess night sight if it fits and all the kind of goodness in that two tone. Um, so I actually did, just got back from dinner. I didn't carry with this on the left side. I carried with my Model 12 that takes the same speed loaders on my left side as my New York reload backup. But certainly you could. In fact, it could even help you and it's faster and maybe it's easier to balance out your hips. And this, see, this one's not broken in, and I got a sticker on it. The hips and the back issues. So the fastest way to reload a revolver is the New York reload. It's really not, it doesn't have to be this, though I think I look pretty dang cool here, you know, with Sergeant Murtaugh, Sergeant Riggs, uh, detective over here. You know, I, I kind of think the New York reload, it's been proven many, many times, by Jim Strillo, Pistol Pete, and others, but it could be something like your medium to full size. It's really technically a small frame revolver, but uh, you know, a three inch barreled 357 Magnum, and you can have that 38 that maybe takes the same speed loaders as your backup. Many cops, this was standard operating procedure in the 70s, 80s, etc. You might have your model 10 4 inch K frame like Jim Strillo, and then you got your two inch. Colt, they, everyone says a detective, I think it was actually an agent or a Cobra, I think it was an agent. But uh, as your backup, because it could, it, it's a little bit smaller, but it can still take the Model 10 HKS speed loaders, okay? So nowadays that could be something blah, blah, blah like this with a Smith & Wesson Model 12. I did a video on the Ultimate Carry K-Frame, maybe they'll do that lip season Smith & Wesson next year. Or it could be a, a Taurus uh, 856, like ultralight, as your backup, really easy to carry inside your vest for law enforcement. Ankle, if you want to do that, offside pocket. So one available to primary hand, if that gets shot, damage, wrestling, gun grab, you staple that, you go to your other. So that is one reason. So beautiful, nice holsters. These are the Rossi RP63s. Okay, so I'll give you a look-see here. I just switched the grips back. I'm probably going to put them back on. Needed to be a little bit more solid. I have another video with a beautiful um, rosewood checkered grips from Premium Gun Grips. I will be putting those back on. Beauty and the Beast. I think that's how I'm going to roll with these uh, and whatnot. This has a night sight put on it. The other one will probably get access. It wasn't available at the time I did this one. Ameriglow um, and all of that. So... This is a Rossi RP63. These are K-frame holsters, and it's fitting perfect on the range. I have a range video coming out uh, with the Model 12 and uh, that hip grip and all that. Of course, Model 12 is an aluminum K-frame. That fit in there perfectly, so that's really nice for these. Black, brown, really nice leather, open top design. It works out well for me want to throw it out there because we weren't sure exactly what was going to fit. This also fits very, very well. So when someone says, why do you carry two guns? You say, because three would be ostentatious. Okay. So this is for a three, what is it? 3.1 technically, 3.1 inch Ruger SP 101. And this is a little tight still, but if it fit in there, that is all also very, very, very nice. So look at my other videos with Don Hume holsters. For you lefties, or for you guys that want to cowboy it up like me, the founder of Don Hume was left-handed. So it's very difficult, and they make pistols, revolvers, all that inside waistband. I was used to, used to carry some of the revolvers in appendix style. 
he's left-handed. So if you're looking for a left-hand holster, uh, you know, Don Hugh might be the way to go with that. Okay, so let's now talk about reloader reload methods. Remember, both of these are empty. That is a Zeta 6 safe snap, okay, for dry fire and visual confirmation. So they sent me the speed load holders too. Now I'm not really thinking you're all going to do this, okay, but I want to show you options. So earlier I just had the right holster in this on, and then I had a K-frame uh, aluminum as the backup today when I went out to dinner, okay. So one way of doing it is like Paul Harrell style. Paul Harrell, best wishes. Thank you for teaching us all everything, by the way. Uh, I've communicated a little bit with you in email in the past. I wish you the best. And if you have the energy to still do a couple stories like that 100 round using a 1911, if you're allowed to, you know, at that kind of time, that would be great. Or just talking about anything you want to talk about, even if it's in a recliner. Okay. <laughs> so rocking chair, whatever. Okay. So reload method. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, click, click. Oh shit. I'm in a gunfight for the first time in my life. Smack. And yes, you can smack it and then transition to your speed load holder or what's in your pocket or whatever. This one, I will show the HKS Model 10 speed loader, which fits all your K-frames, fits fairly pretty good in a detective special, um, also fits in this Rossi RP63. You turn the knob to the right and it drops in there. That is definitely one option. People don't necessarily carry the speed load holder. Now, if you're going to be a dedicated revolver guy, I like having it right in front there. And I don't really have a problem because you're using some kind of cover garment, either this style or a hoodie over or whatever, a long sleeve, right? So it can be done in a speed load holder. Holder, I like this already. Uh, but a lot of people don't like that. So what's more common is maybe a snubby and you could throw in the Zeta 6 in your pocket, your K-clip. Uh, these are some gold dots as a reload, so, you know, that would work too. And if you just had that in your pocket, you would put them in there. Usually, I think I'm going to, if for the handoff, for the transition to the offside hand, the weak side hand, whatever you want to call it, pull this out. I think I would aim down with gravity, put them in with the top, the tab on the top, and rip down, try not to take them with me, close the action, and come back up. So that would look... I throw that back in my pocket. I don't necessarily want to do it all the way, guys. That would look like something like bang, 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 click. Oh, shit. Bring it in. Rotate the revolver over. Give it a smack where you could thumb. That's another option as well, as long as you're pointed down with gravity. Okay, and then I'd go for my K-pack uh, or K-clip. I'm sorry. This is the K-clip. I think, for me, putting it on top seems to be working best. And then I'll just do it, but I'm not going to close the action. Rip out. And there we go. Clear, 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 clear. Okay, so that's one option. I uh, went over the K-Pack 2s, how to use those by keeping it in the dominant hand. You would hit the release, same as a Smith & Wesson, push or Taurus, push that out that way. If you can, get your finger to hold the cylinder. Now I'm going to go to the left side, and this time I'm using... Instead of a, a speed loader, I'm using kind of a speed loader, the K-clip. Orientated with the tab to the left. Sorry about the lighting. Tab to the left. Point it out, getting my thumb on the back there. So there's the tab. Tab to the left. This time, by holding the cylinder, I'm not fighting it as much. I would put it down, try to keep your eyes up, in, and then rip from this side. Okay? So that would do that. So you could load it with either hand. Also, this style with the K-Pack orientated on the left side, three up, three down. I showed that in the range video quite a few times. Uh, I'm running out of ammo to put in all this. I got to restock up in 38 and 357. Um, so that would work as well. So anyway, guys, a little bit on the Zeta 6 products, the Safe Snap, the uh, K-Clip. Of course, they make J-Clips as well. Um, J packs, K packs, K pack two. I showed it the range video. That's also very easy. You can put them together. So you actually got two full reloads. Throw that in a pocket, whatever you're wearing. Throw it in the jeans pocket, the slack pocket. That's even easier, maybe, if, if uh, a K clip is a little too bulky, which really it's not. So compared to, you might get some rattle with the HKS 
Um, I also think Five Star is going to be sending me some of theirs, which HCAS goes to the right. If you're going to do this method, keep it in the primary head. And just like nowadays, you do it with the semi-auto. You don't transfer it over to your mag chain. So I'm starting to learn this method. Here, the K-clip seems to be easier to just get that in there and rip that way. Also, I have a feeling for the left-hand load, keeping it in the right-hand primary, that the um, five-star rotating on the left, uh, Harry's holster says he likes that. So that might be uh, what I find is that maybe over here, I like an HKS because that's kind of my muscle memory. And boom, maybe over here, if I do it this way, I might like in and then left turn. I don't know. You're going to learn different muscle memories. Probably best to stick to one uh, or just really get really good at all of them. But most of the time, I feel like someone's going to have like either an outside waistband, leather holster, inside waistband leather, or inside uh, like appendix um, kydex. And it's not that hard. Throw either one or two of the K clips or J clips into your pocket, whatever kind of pocket, or in the front, whatever, or a couple of the J uh, uh, K clips. K clip two, especially the K clip two is really nice, or J clips, and you can put them together, and then it's kind of more flat and it's not as bulky, even less so than those. So that is an option. So there's your reloader reload methods. But please remember the fastest reload of a revolver, and I still got the safe dry. See it? Totally safe, nice and yellow for safe snap, cappy type action. It's one disc with some spring inside and. Okay, to work out that action on your new revolver, but so you can dry fire, but mostly for visual safety. I know that this is safe. Okay, I never closed the action, uh, loaded up, I do not believe. So, um, the fastest reload is always the New York reload. And if anyone asks you why you carry two guns, you say because three would be ostentatious. And I'm an ostentatious motherfucker. Please like, subscribe, get down there in the comments. I hope this gave you some entertainment and some education. Thank you very much. Check out Dom Hume, Zeta 6, and all the rest. Kaboom!